say this low humidity we're having this morning is not good as crews try to get a handle on this wildfire. Action News Jax is hearing from Annalisa Winter with the Florida Forestry Service. And Elisa, it could be weeks before this fire is 100% contained, and the winds this week just didn't help any. Right. The weather is not helping us at all. It's so dry out there, and we really need, on that northern part of the fire that's in the marsh where we can't get equipment into, we really need rain. The helicopter was dropping water on it yesterday, and I heard him say it's just too hot. The water's not helping, so we need some rain. Here's Annalisa. Do you have uh, working on this fire? And also, could we see some new fires now as possibly embers jump? That's what happened yesterday. We had a couple of small spot fires that blew over the west side of I-95. The largest one got to about two acres, and we did get it under control. We had equipment staged on that side of the road, and the helicopter spotted the fire. The smoke was so thick, it was really hard to locate them. Once we located them, he dropped water on them, and the, the dozer operators put line around it, so we got on it very quickly, but it's, it could certainly happen again today. How much bigger do you think this uh, fire can get, and when do you think I-95 might be able to reopen? Well, there's a lot of um, just open kind of land to the north. The southern edge is pretty, pre holding pretty well. And then it's contained west of 17 and east of 95. So it's just that northern area in the marsh that we have to worry about. And um, <clears throat> unfortunately, there's a lot of open land there to burn and a lot of potential to put smoke on the roads. So and, and until we can stop that forward spread and start to mop up those edges where it's not smoking and smoldering anymore, it is going to impact the road. This morning at 5 a.m., reports are that smoke laden very, very thick on the highway. Also, we have to remind people, too, if they're out in the woods or uh, possibly camping, to be extra careful right now because it is awfully dry out there, right? Absolutely. Um, small, any little small thing, a spark from a piece of lawn equipment, a recreational vehicle, your barbecue coals, any of those things, this time of year can start a wildfire. All right, Annalise Winter, thanks so much for joining us from the Florida Forestry Service this morning.